We've got Fractal and Ramations Fractal, five time winner of our um, top level events. Ramations, a no time winner, but looking to fight her way through uh, into the semifinals. So as soon as I can find where the chat is, let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Why is my cam weird and reflected? I don't know. Don't worry about it because you don't have enough white space around you. And we got Tetris TM. We got trademarks. We got Tetris is a registered trademark of the Tetris holding company or whatever. I don't know. But it says Tetris TM in the countdown bot. We are underway. Fractal and Ramations. Ramations has never made it into the semifinals of a classic Tetris monthly masters event. But uh, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but Ramations is the winner of the classic Tetris league one a division. So look at that. The most recent season. But did not win the entire season. So there you go. I don't know what I'm even saying. I don't know what Classic Tetris League is. Don't worry about it. In fact, we got to delete that off of there. We don't need more people on that server. Uh, that server is trash. <laughs> Zembro says, no, no, keep talking about Classic Tetris League. I don't know anything about it. I haven't, I haven't played in it. First of all, I'm surprised there's 22 seasons of it. Crazy. Like, how did that last? 102 for Fractal early on, 161 for Ramations. Classic Trash League. No, Kingsman is the one that kept it going, right? Obviously, it wasn't going to stay going with uh, Moodus running it. Kind of very, kind of, kind of a mercurial fellow. prone to uh, you know fits and outbursts of anger and you can imagine Moodoo is just deleting that server but no King saving it uh, the Bears discord server is for the annual extreme sports with the Berenstain Bears world championship it has a story in history now three years running what an amazing championship it has been every, all three years <laughs> 278 for ramations 223 for fractal we really should do extreme sports with the Barons same bears world championship again we should it, it's a meme tournament based on a pretty bad game that we held back in 2021. And uh, I keep threatening slash promising to do another one, but I can just never find the time because I got, I, got I got a real big boy job here. Tetris for Fractal 291, 392 for Ramations up 100,000 points. But I really should do another one. We, we, we got to do it. That's where all the bear emojis came from. That's where the original bear emoji came from. Tetris for Ramations, 464. 364 Fractal, still down by 100,000 points. Also backed by about five lines, so that does factor into it. Zempro says there's going to be four buckaroonies to host uh, 2023. Well, this is maybe where I need to start doing incentives or something like that around, you know, subscriptions and things. I mean, I could be convinced, but, you know, I'm just, 
I do, I do have a full-time job. I got a, 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 a hobbies and friends and got a lot of eating to do. Clearly. I got to balance all these priorities. And the first one was so epic, right? It still should be online. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but it's still online. And we we invited the creator of this game, this kind of sketchy Game Boy Color game. Had a whole interview. We got behind the scenes documents. It was a great time. 546 fractal five and you know it was surprisingly hype i mean it was like oh my god like it, it, it really was hype worthy it was it delivered but yeah fractal clawing back here while i'm talking about bears fictional tournaments now just backed by one tetris from ramations and fractal gonna get a tetris after the board climbs a bit 595 transition for ramations Here's a Tetris 621. Yeah, Pumpy, we gotta do we gotta do bears again. That was so good, and Pumpy loved it. Pumpy was hyped, like he thought this was the future. <laughs> he loved it. He wants to do it again. I know he does. He went out and bought special hardware, and now we haven't done it again. So we gotta bring the bear scene back. 646 fractal, 696 Ramation. Someone asking, is Fractal playing in a bathroom? No, that is in a dorm room. Mason's trying to build this lead back out again. Fractal is one of our monthly tournaments, uh, Masters tournament four times, also won the C, uh, the, the Lone Star Qualifier in 2022. Actually won in 2022, won that event and the monthly tournament on the same exact day. I mean, uh, the same exact weekend in person. It was our one time week closed out one of our monthly tournaments in person because they were all four of them in the same place at the same time. What a cool opportunity. That I mean, that was great. That was a great weekend. Eight twenty four fractal seven ninety four Ramations. Fractal in the lead by 53,000 points. So it was behind considerably. Ramation's incredible slowdown. Both players kind of above where the next, next box would be. You can see it. Sodium says it's a droughty seed here. 905 for Fractal. 857 Ramation's going to get a Tetris. Now just back uh, by about 19,000 points again, Ramations. This is game one. It seems like this game one has taken like 20 minutes. <laughs> and Tetris down the bottom there for Fractal has some gaps in the stack though to work out before he can start building again. Unless he decides to try to do a dirty Tetris here, but no, just going to take this all the way back down. Does have a little bit of lead, can afford it. Ramations has to make a gap over on the left side of the board. And just getting to work, attacking that gap before 29. All right, long bar will open up that right side just in time for 29. 925 transition or so. And gets a Tetris, Ramation 966. Fractal has the max out here, still on 28. One line to go. There's a Tetris into 29, A39. So there's a lead. Oh no, that long bar to the left for Ramations. Needs to get something over and cannot do it. Ramations will top out level 30 at 969. Fractal is good and can top out. Or I don't know, or pad stats. I, I don't know how this all works now, but. Very complicated. What are my duties as a tournament organizer here? Yeah, 2024 will be the year of padding stats. 
All right, Fractal up one game to none. Both players ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Sledge says, was there just a meeting before the matches to tell the players to wear similar color shirts? No, there was not. But it would be cool if players would wear, like if they're in the orange bracket, wear an orange shirt, blue shirt, you know, blue bracket, blue shirt. That would be a cool thing to do. Not required. Nor will I force players to buy shirts to participate. Not to go on a red bracket rant here, but come on. <laughs> like if anything, the fans should be forced to buy shirts in order to watch, not, you know, make the players pay my word. I've never wanted the players to have to pay ever like that was just kind of a commitment i've made i don't want players to have to play the players are the ones providing the entertainment and the value so why am i going to make them pay for the privilege of doing that and if i can't make you know if i can't make the rest of the thing pay for itself or you know economic or whatever without having the players pay that I'm not doing my job. Game Scout with the stats here, online back says both Fractal and Ramations transition to 19 with 595 500 in game one this is only the second time ever in ctm masters that identical transitions have happened well there you go look at this this whole database opening up all these uh nonsense stats so now well ramations is in a bit of a mood here <laughs> trying to uncover this ramations uh, certainly wears uh sure on his sleeve but yeah so now like you, like one of the things that annoys people about baseball is like oh you know they always say like oh well, this is the first ever game where the first two runners fly out to left field on a thursday and they both have the letter b right that's kind of a caricature of the kind of arcane stats that exist for baseball that people kind of make fun of but now we're going to have it for Tetris. So we will be just as annoying as baseball very soon. 282 for Fractal, 191 for Ramations. But no, that is actually a really interesting stat. Identical transition scores for game one. <laughs> 351 Fractal, 236 Ramations. Ramations, yeah, just, just just in a mood here, just a series of placements and situations that I'm not happy with. And there we go. Ramations, good stack, good board, still complaining. No, I don't know if he's complaining. I think he might be just in a chat. All right, Tetris Fractal, 421, 287 Ramations, back in a dig. What was uh, Ramations result? That Ramations was playing a CTL match. So what was what actually happened in that CTL match? Is it just frustration or is that kind of carrying over from CTL? 478 Fractal 324 Ramations. got swept oh i see so probably just a rough day 
So it's tough to have to play two, you know, kind of major events same day and just not have it that day. But still in it, Fractal only up down one game to none. You have a choice at any moment to just say, all right, I'm going to take the reins. I'm going to, you know, just kind of take a breath and try to go back to work, clear my mind. 569 Fractal, 337 Ramations. Does donate go to the prize pool? No, the way to go to the prize pool is ctm.gg slash matcharino. Donate goes to uh, goes to just CTM operations. If you want to go to the prize pool, go to ctm.gg slash matcharino. That's the only way to get funds into the pool. And we do have costs. 639 here transition for Fractal. 348 for Ramations. Very low transition score. Tetris Fractal, 673. We should probably have something easier to spell as a command instead of Maturino. Like, it sounds like mature Eno. Like, I don't know, something mature. Like maturation chamber, chamber, maturino. Seven fifty-two for fractal is over or just about a three hundred thousand point lead over Ramations at this point. No oh, prize pool does go to Matt to the thing as well. All right, good. Maybe I should say that ctmgg slash prize pool. Maybe I'll start saying that. But I've been in the habit of saying this for years now. Fractal building, setting up. Quinn Culver with the $25 contribution to the Maturino prize pool. Thank you so much. It now sits at 1913.88. August 8th, 1913. Anything good happen on that day? Probably not. <laughs> 604, Ramation still back by 300,000 points and digging again, but Fractal is digging as well. Still plenty of time. Tetrises do get more valuable. We get deeper in the game. So, you know, who knows? Something could befall Fractal, Ramations. You got to still be in it. Tetris Ramation 680. Fractal still down stacking here. Trying to. Tetris Ramation 713. Fractal clean again. One away from the max out. Gets the Tetris max out on level 27. Ramation's 783. So it has cut into the lead a little bit. Another Tetris Fractal. Ramation uncovers. Oh, I missed the S flat there from Fractal. Formation left side needs a long bar, so we're just going to bring this down just three lines away from the 29 transition. Easy to get that long bar over to the left. Let's see what Formation's uh, plans to do. Going to set up for that dirty Tetris. Gets the dirty Tetris into 29 board a little tiny bit high, but dealable with. And B59 into 29 for Fractal. Here. Setting up for the dirty here, but that is going to be it. Ends up covering and topping out. Ramations is out, and Fractal is good with the 1.2 on 30. GG's. Fractal up two games to none. Ramations, that chair, that uh, Herman Miller, Aaron chair, whatever, goes flying. Pretty, uh, pretty nice chair. All right, game three, Ramations needs to win to stay in. Let's go, three, two, one, Tetris.
Oh, thanks so much for the um, contribution directly to CTM, Quinn Culver, contributing to the prize pool and maybe accidentally to, <laughs> to uh, CTM. But we will use the funds well. We do have uh, some expenses here from our operations. We do pay qualifier checkers and our match uh, schedulers for all of our tournaments all the way down and um, and our super streamers, so. Every once in a while, Vandy's like, oh, you know, we, uh, the bank account's a little bit fat. Maybe I'll do a little profit taking. Like it's happened a couple times. And then every time I try to do that, it's like, nope, more expenses. And then I just have to send it right back. So it's like Vandy not getting rich off CTM. One forty three for fractal, seventy three thousand for Ramations. Oh, I kind of missed there with the L piece Ramations, so that will probably ca uh, cause a gap of some kind, which it did. Fractal here, having to set up some tucks in the middle of a stack, does so. And Tetris 212 Fractal Ramations. Really, you can see just very distracted here and hoping that Ramations can just kind of get it together, muster some focus for this game, try to get back into this match. Still has a chance to force a reverse sweep. All right, Fractal skimming here, trying to open up that left side. Does so, which opens up the well on the right. And long bar down for Tetris. 244 for Fractal. Ramations getting to work on bringing this down. And yeah, Fractal up high in the middle of the stack there. So a lot of precision required. Easy to miss one tap, you know, and then you're out that situation but fractal gonna get through it go to work on uncovering the right side just one line away from doing that and is set up for a tetris again ramations board taking shape here uncovers the right side set up for a dirty tetris and then a nice j piece to fill in move that well over to the right at the bottom of the stack where it belongs Oh, Mari wants to get paid for making TikToks. I don't do we We're not really monetized on if we get monetized on TikTok, I don't even know how you do that. But I I would consider it. What we should do is make a special invite link that we put in the like you like TikToks have descriptions, right? Should make a special invite link to see if it actually brings people into the server. Like new people. All right, remind me to do that. That way we can track and see, are we attracting new people? And because uh, we can see what invite link they come through. 267 Ramations. Ronkley with the raid party of two. So probably Ronkley and his bot. So welcome <laughs> Ronkley and your bot. <laughs> 457 Fractal Ramations here, 267. Do the same for the YouTube descriptions. Yeah, we should actually do that. Just set up different invite links for all of our platforms and see where people are coming from. That's a good thought. All right, someone, uh, just, someone just post that in the Vandy channel so I don't forget, because I will forget. 510 Fractal. 280 Ramations. Man, that's just five lines away from the level 19 transition, so really threatening to have and probably will have a lower transition than even the previous game. But still in it, lots can happen from now until 39.
you'd love to put something in a description that isn't just 17 hashtags. Yeah, I don't know. Do the ha what do the hashtags do something on on TikTok? Is that part of the algorithm? All right, 583 transition, I guess, here for Fractal. 363 into level 20 for Ramations. <laughs> now, we're not going to give, quote, YouTube people a, quote, special role in the server. <laughs> we're all people, okay? However we got here. Although it could be a special, special role, like it's like a badge of honor. Like, hey, I got here through YouTube, guys. 697 Fractal, 470 for Ramations, good flat, clean board, Tetris, 498. Tetris, Fractal, 730, level 22. Ramation slowly cl climbing back here. Another Tetris Ramations. This is going to be a very critical next couple of levels for Ramations. Set up for the dirty Tetris and gets it. 591. And another Tetris. One row off the bottom. Uncovers that gap on the left. Nice long bar to fill in the middle. All right, Ramation's getting some pieces here. Fortune smiling upon the young Ramations. Another Tetris, 657. But Fractal has been even better during that time and has opened that lead up a little bit more. Another Tetris Ramation. I mean, this is a tough draw to go against Fractal, you know. You know four or five major wins in the CTM universe. And two of those wins. Didn't two of those wins come against Dog? I mean, that's like... Yeah, two of those wins came against Dog. So, I mean, you're beating the best of the best. And you're one of the best of the best. Oh, kind of a misdrop there for Ramations. That's going to... It's going to cause a slowdown. Max out here for Fractal on 26. trying to get set up here for 29 maybe setting up nope just gonna take the skims gonna take a good board into 29 and try to make up some of this 816 into 29 b51 fractal two lines away and a little bit okay yeah gets a long bar over just after the 29 transition b91 on 29 for fractal big big lead over 300,000 points over 350,000 points so Frack Ramations needs to stay alive, but needs to score as well. And Fractal can probably just scale here. Ramations just not going to be able to bring this down. Is going to top out, and Fractal will sweep his way through and into the top eight. GG's Fractal and GG's to you, Ramations. I know not a great day for you today, but uh, stick with it. You know, top flight player. And everybody has a bad day. So uh, GG's to you and hope to see you again. And we love you. All right, so we'll watch uh, Fractal. Mullen here, if you want to see the whole end of the game here. Does that count? <laughs> game Scout? You just don't necessarily need both players on there. Fractal going for it down the center and gets it. <laughs> Trying to chase uh, the all-time 39 score. The 39 kill screen top score. And is at 1.471 right now. 33 lines to go until the level 39 transition. Tetris for Fractal has another one set up. I mean, look at this kid. This is getting a little droughted at the wrong time. There is another long bar now for Tetris. 
has got the 1.5 and that is gonna do it so gg's fractal good game and again good game to ramation so we are gonna go ahead and uh take a break and then we will set up fractal and sid nevin and there's the ready from wallbant here we go game number five the decider between coal bucket and wallbant we'll figure out who wins it in three two one tetris somebody is going to the finals possibly after this game and wallbant with the push down points is making an early case for it to be him for the Tetris. Cold Bucket also doing so with some burns. Bang Tetris for Wallbant. And there's the Tetris for Cole. Another Tetris for Wallbant. Cold Bucket has the right side open. We'll score the Tetris. Interesting decision on that L with the long bar coming in. Might sing a little bit of uh, a little bit of uncomfort, discomfort, uncomfort. It's discomfort. I don't know why I said uncomfort. I think I was going to say uncomfortable, and that wasn't the right word. Bang Tetris for Wallband. Either way, Cold Bucket will score another Tetris there. Trails by twenty thousand points. The wording makes you discomfortable. That's good. Mission accomplished. <laughs> what? People can qualify for this tournament? Oh, man. Pumpy Heart with the online facts here. Also keep in mind, if you win this event, you have to qualify to actually get your spot in Faster Masters. Thought CTM was only for top players? No, there are tournaments for players of every skill level, including Kingsman. Yes, Kingsman is his own skill level. I am looking forward to 2024 when I can participate in this tournament again and not have to worry about things like, uh, is it gonna interfere with work? Is it gonna interfere with school? Can't commit right now. Hold back it with a bit of a complicated board here. It's gonna get a long bar down the right side for a double. He does have the lead, but Wallbant with that Tetris will take it away. Yes, Kingsman is the best player named Kingsman. Robin with an excellent idea there. We'll have, uh, you know, we have Masters Challengers. Uh, futures, hold pulls, tier one, tier two, Kingsman, tier four. I like this idea. Bang Tetris for Wallband 313, playing 255 as Cold Bucket will get down to the bottom and we'll start building up for more Tetrises. Meanwhile, Wallband just playing nice and chill. Has definitely had, on average, more efficient 18s. And we'll score another Tetris there to go to 340. Yeah, the Kingsman circuit. And I feel like just by its nature, um, Marts would need to get free entry into that tournament so that we get a Kingsman Marts matchup. Possibly in round one.
a couple J dependencies for Cole here. He gets one with cover in the left side, but doesn't get the second one in time. But a long bar will fix that situation. Now, Ford's getting a little uncomfortable here with a long bar dependency on the left. But we'll get the long bar for the Tetris, and this should give Cole Bucket time to recover. Yeah, we'll get that long bar into column one and that will open up the right side. 462 for Wallman, 381 for Cole Bucket in the decider. We're just about at transition and Wallman has about a three Tetris lead. Nine Tetris for both players. Yes, have to have El Classical. Oh, have I not been doing predictions again? I will remember to do them for the rest of the time. How about that? Both players getting up pretty high on the board, but Cole Bucket will give himself some relief. Wallbant needs to cover the well and take care of business, and we'll hit the long bar over for the right. 459 on the transition for Cole Bucket. Well, Bant waiting on a long bar to try to make this a clean transition, but doesn't get it. 516 followed by the Tetris to go to 540. Cole Bucket also getting another Tetris in there. So this is a close game. And still too early to call. Nine Tetris for Cole. There's a Tetris for Wall Bant. Puppy heart, oh my god. <laughs> Just putting a dagger into the heart of Lake Captain over there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cold bucket, get oh the square! The misdrop of the square! Can he survive this? Opens up the left side, but it's not enough to open up a hole in column two. More work needs to be done. Cole still alive using the long bar there. Oh, this is so dangerous for Cole right now. Long bar finally comes down for the dirty Tetris and he opens up the right side and bang Tetris for Cole Bucket. After a near disaster, Cole will remain alive. He trails by 100,000 points here on level 23. Bang Tetris for Wallbant. That control was ridiculous, says Robin. Yes. That's a word for it for sure. 800,000 for Wallbant. Bang Tetris to go to 830. Cole can't use that long bar to score, but we'll use that one to go to 765. Still trailing by about 60, 70,000 points. Wallbant with another Tetris. Another Tetris for Cole Bucket. So it's about a 100,000 point pace lead for Wallbant at the moment. We're in level 26. Bang Tetris for Wallbant. It is crunch time for both of these players. Another Tetris for Cole. We're looking at double max outs going into kill screen. Ball bant with the white right side open. We'll get the long bar. Bang Tetris to the max. AO4. 1,042,000. Cole just has to burn down, not getting any good pieces here. He's going to use a long bar to fill in the dependency on the left. Looking for another long bar. So got two Tetrises left, but no long bars coming. He's got to fill in. He'll go into kill screen at 956. Was unable to get to the max. But we'll have time on the kill screen to do it. Bang Tetris for Wallman. A 922. 932, sorry. And there's the B on the board for Wallbant, up by 91,000 points.
Oh, the hang for Cole on the left. Has a chance to get something over, and he does for the triple. Long bar for Cole Bucket. Gonna help. Gets access to that hole. Wallbant's board seems to be falling apart a little bit, but oh, look at that. Great sequence for Wallbant. He'll stay alive. He's got the right side open yet again. No one going for Tetris's here. A little hard to do, but there it is. Wallbant, bang, Tetris. 1.176. And I think Cole scored in there too, because he's still only 100,000 down. Wallbant's board getting out of control. And now he'll top out 1.185. Cole Bucket, you need B86. Bang Tetris to go to B38. Waiting for the right piece. Going super dirty here. Gets the long bar. Bang Tetris and Cole Bucket will take game five with an incredible insane dirty tetris and we'll get the one point two what did i just see what a comeback from cole there he was over a hundred thousand points down for most of that and gets it done in the kill screen just incredible play from cole bucket he'll move on to the finals Let's take a quick look at what the semis currently look like. Cole Bucket over there on the right in match 15. He'll be waiting on the results of our next match. Dan V. Weller taking on Jerpy Dude up next. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal Van Weller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. And I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.